Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Jay Miller here, hanging out with Porsche's litter. They were born on November 17th of uh, 2023. Okay guys, here with Porsche's Litter, hanging out with four boys and two girls. We got three of the girls here with me now, uh, just to make it a little bit more manageable. Um, we got some black, white, and tan tricolors. We got some merle colorations, uh, some different combinations I wanna get into today. Uh, we just did pictures. We wanted to do a YouTube video for this litter. I wanna get some weights for you today with each one of the puppies and just go a little, uh, go over each one a little bit to give you a better feel for the litter. So uh, these guys are coming through already completed ENS and ESI. Um, we're right now at about five and a half weeks old and they're doing great. I mean, they think my fingers are great too, um, but these guys are absolutely phenomenal, all jokes aside. I mean, they just do great. They've been coming along very well, um, super healthy. We got some different sizes with these guys. They're gonna be around 20 to 20, or 20 to 30 pounds-ish, right in that range. Um, now we have one little girl that I'll get into later that's gonna be a little bit smaller um, and gonna be staying small. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, um, I'll definitely be talking about her later on. So starting things off here, we got Miss Ivory. Um, she is a Merle, uh, tricolor Merle. You got that tan on the eyebrows, uh, tan on the side here. And then that black coloration coming along over on her right hand, uh, like above her right eye, um, almost like here on the side. Um, just beautiful coloration over the back. And I mean, she's a decent size. I would say probably right around 20 to 25 pounds, probably 25 closer to it. Um, she's one of the bigger girls in the litter. You got that Merle coloration coming through the back. And a little bit of a black spot here up top. Very sweet girl, um, very affectionate. Um, she, she's got a little bit of a, a nice little energy to her. Uh, she's very happy-go-lucky and loves her people. She'll warm up pretty quick and what she does, she's a very, very fun girl. So um, again, this is Ivory and I'm gonna go ahead and pop her on the scale over here, let it set up. And I'm curious at five and a half weeks how these, uh, how much these guys weigh. So they're F1Bs. Um, so mom is a F1, let's see here, 1.93 pounds. So under two pounds, still at five and a half weeks old. Um, so mom is an F1 uh, Bernadoodle and that's basically her mom being a Bernice Mountain Dog. Not this puppy's mom, her mom's mom, like her grandmother being a Bernice Mountain Dog. And then her mom um, and her grandfather being a Poodle. And then um, her dad being a Poodle and her mom being an F1B, or F1 Bernadoodle. So uh, this little girl here, she's an F1B, so 75%. Uh, Poodle, 25% Bernice Mountain Dog, and I love her coat. It's nice and fluffy, just a really nice texture to it, nice and soft. She's an absolute teddy bear. Moving on to Tori. She is a black, white, and tan tri. Um, also a female, more of the white coloration coming through. She's super, super confident, but a little bit more on the laid back side. So she is more uh, loving up on her people, um, she, you can see her head's up high, she's checking everything out. Um, so she's got a little bit more confidence to her, but she's also a little bit more content and a little bit more laid back. So um, this is Tori, and she's got some nice size to her as well. You can see that um, black coloration coming out over the ears, kind of extending over in a blaze um, in between her eyes, and then you got some black spots coming along on the back. Let's see what Miss Tori weighs here. Let's see if I can set her down. 1.94, so literally 0 0.01 of an ounce bigger um, comparing to ivory. So very, very similar when it comes to size um, and just a very, very um, similar uh, overall build. So moving on here, this is a little girl I was telling you about. She's always been the smaller one. She is an absolute teacup. I mean, she's gonna stay small. At five weeks, she'll fit in my hand. I feel like she'll fit in my shirt pocket too. 
Uh, she's going to be very small. Um, and she she's a sweetheart. She's got a little bit of a spunk to her. Um, she's got a goofy personality. Really uh, loves her people, but she's she's got a little bit um, a little bit fight to her, which is great. I love seeing that, especially at this age. It, it just creates a very uh, fun and uh, almost a, a really nice well um well balanced dog so um she's got that definitely um we've got some spunk to her and her name is kona um she is a black white and tan tri and very very sweet so she's i would say probably under a pound or right around a pound so i'm gonna see right now she is so small and so light but very healthy it's not like anything's wrong with her so she's actually more than i thought she would be um, she's 1.27 pounds, so about a solid half pound um, less than the other two girls here. Um, so she's, but she's substantially smaller. I mean, at this age, a half pound with an F1B um, burning doodle, that's, that's a lot. But you'll definitely see some other videos with her having some more spunk and just being a little bit more active, uh, like Miss Ivory back here, uh, thinking my fingers are a toy. So, um, but very sweet girl. And she, I mean, if you're looking for something that you can fly with, that you can travel with, uh, that'll be able to hop on a plane with you, this might be the puppy for you. She's going to stay small. She's got a small frame and, and just a, a very um, well-mannered as well, uh, very well-mannered personality. Hey everyone, getting to the second part of the video. So we got Miss Nala here, the girl we haven't talked about yet. We got Kobe on the left and Finn on the right. So we're going to be going through talking about each one. Um, and just going through like we did for the three girls that we just talked about. So moving on to Nala here in the middle. She's a heavy set girl, a little bit heavier than some of the others. I'd say she's probably the biggest in the litter overall. I guess we'll see when we weigh these two guys, um, but I do feel like she's a little bit heavier. Um, she's more laid back, very well, uh, well mannered and just super, super um, sweet and loves being held, loves being cuddled. She's very much of a homebody and just a sweet, sweet, sweet girl. So I'm gonna pop her on a scale here, see what happens. Um, I'm gonna guess she's a little bit heavier. So she's 2.66 pounds. So she's about a solid half pound bigger than two other girls, Ivory um, and was it Tori, I think? Yeah, Ivory and Tori. Um, were the two big girls. Um, so she's a solid half pound bigger, and I'd say she's probably bigger than the, the two boys here. So um, we'll talk about Mr. Finn here next, the little man in this uh, video. He's got a little bit more of a straighter coat compared to Kobe. Um, and this is a very soft coat, predominantly white. Um, he is um, a blue merle, uh, tricolor. And you can see that tan coming through on the side. You can see the tan above his eyebrow or eyes on his eyebrows, and then that merle coloration with the uh, lighter uh, merle coming through, the gray uh, coming through, and then just absolutely beautiful coloration. I'll show you on the inside of his ears. He's got some tan coming through um, on both sides, and very sweet guy. Um, he's not quite as outgoing. Him and Toby are very, very similar, but he's not quite as driven. Um, he's a little bit more relaxed than Kobe um, and a little bit more content. Um, Kobe is a little bit more energetic, a little bit more uh, driven, but we'll get to him later. This little man, he's just a little bit more um, on the laid back side. He still loves his activity. He loves playing. He gets along great with his litter mates. It's just, uh, it's like he is just a little bit less driven compared to Kobe. So uh, we'll get him on a scale here. I guess 2.2. Oh my, 0 0.02 ounces off, 2.18 for Mr. Finn here. So um, right along with the pack there, a little bit smaller uh, than Nala, but um, still right where he should be. So um, these guys are definitely coming along great. It's not like they're having any issues as far as health. Um, they're right where they should be as far as weight. They have a full belly. Everyone's just feels like they're um, very, I, I feel like they're right where they should be. So uh, moving on to Kobe, last but not least, um, Kobe with the fro here. He's got a nice curly coat, uh, beautiful coloration, 
Um, I love his coat. He's got a little bit more of a tighter curl coming out um, and just a beautiful, beautiful coat coming over here. Uh, I feel like the video is probably not gonna do any justice, but um, I love how his uh, coat comes through and it just, it's very well balanced. Um, he is a uh, Blue Merle Tri as well. So you got uh, predominantly white with uh, tan coming, or gray coming through the back here. Uh, gray on the ears on both sides. Um, we got the white blaze and some tan on the side here, uh, as well as under the ears as well. So, um, beautiful coloration here for this little guy. If you're curious about the nose, it'll definitely blacken out. Um, sometimes um, at this age, they end up being spotted. It's a lack of coloration, um, lack of pigment. So it'll fill in here um, probably in the next two weeks. Honestly, you'll probably not even be able to see it here um, in two weeks. So super excited for this little guy. Like I said, he's a little bit more on the outgoing side. Um, very, very sweet and um, still loves his people. He's just a little bit more active. Um, so this is Toby. Let's see if we can get him on a scale. I'm gonna say he's a little bit bigger compared to Finn, but man, I might be wrong. Man, I'm wrong. He's about a couple, um, just a little bit. He was 2.11, so just a little bit smaller comparing to Finn. Um, I actually thought he's bigger. It looks like he is bigger, but I think it's it's a lot to do with his fluff. So uh, comparing the two boys, I mean, I feel like Kobe definitely looks a little bit bigger. And then uh, pop him on a scale, I guess you're proven wrong. So. Um, but this litter has been amazing. They're five and a half weeks old. If you guys have any questions about availability um, of, of these puppies or this litter, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion. The number is 330-234-0102. Um, feel free to reach out at any point in time. I'd love to help you out finding the right puppy for you. And I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Merry Christmas. And um, can't wait to see you again. Take care.